I'm driving out to Amalga Harbor right now because we're out tonight to do some um, geotech investigations because we're going to add a, uh, a new float at the end of the launch ramp. What we need to know is if we have 20 feet of overburden to drive new steel piles down to uh, secure that new 75 foot float. We only need two piles, so we're going to take our boat and we're going to tie off to the float and position ourselves so we can drive a homemade water jet into the mud. We took um, thick walled electrical conduit, the kind that comes threaded at both ends and it's usually a 10 foot stick with uh, a coupling at one end. And then we got some uh, plumbing caps, we drilled some um, jet holes in them to attach a pressure washer to the top of it and create a water jet that we hope to be able to wash into the uh, mud. Taking the shot? Yeah. So we're just going to What do you want to call it? Uh, we'll call it hole one. Piling? Sure. Hole one. So we're drilling through some marine clay. Alright, so a quick recap. The uh, water jet worked really well actually. Uh, it took us a little bit of practice to figure out how to advance it, but we were able to push through some some rocks and some other, other hard layers, and we were able to get nice clay down below that on the first hole. So it drove really well. We got 24 feet of depth, so that's really good for uh, pi driving, the, driving those piles. Uh, second and third hole, we had a bit more trouble. We were in a rockier area. We could uh, feel it advance. We'd feel the rocks kind of fill in, and... Uh, plug the hole as we'd lift it back up to get another uh, run at it and um, you could see quite a bit of wear and uh, rub marks on the uh, on the pipe as it, it wore against those rocks. So we got to 11 and a half and 12 foot refusal and uh, we feel pretty confident that we weren't at bedrock. It was just layers of cobbles that our little half inch um, EMT couldn't pierce. So I think we're going to move ahead with uh, a contract. 